we're gonna keep on going, going all the way down to the tip. Uh, I'm just gonna shut up. Hello my beautiful darlings, my name is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a very juicy video, it's going to be pretty fun. I will be personally trying out really famous TikTok makeup hacks, that's right, you heard me correctly. So for this I wanted to have like a wide range of different hacks, so I'm going to be try, I'm going to try to do a full face using only but TikTok hacks. So here we go. We're gonna see if these viral TikTok hacks are really all the rage. So let's get on into the video. Hack number one is going to be for our lips. If you're like me, I've got really dry lips and chapstick does not seem to do the trick for me. So basically, as you guys see in the video up above, it should be that way, um, I'm gonna be putting honey on my lips, pretty thick, and then I'm gonna put wrap over it for about five minutes and once I take it off I'm supposed to have the most luscious smooth lips all right so I'm gonna dip into my all-natural organic honey we always get our honey from farmers to support them and also it's just way healthier in my opinion and way better tasting so I'm just gonna rub it all over my lips also, this is going to taste really good when you get done. And I, I feel like this is going to work, like, for some reason. Mm. Okay, so now that I have the honey on my lips, I'm going to put some press and seal because I don't have any plastic wrap. So we're going to see if this works, and I'm going to wait five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes, and I just took off the wrap. And I'm gonna see if this actually worked. I'm gonna look up all the honey. Mmm. It's really good. If this works, I'm gonna do this every single day. So let's have a closer look. Oh my god. I'm shook. My lips are so smooth. I don't know if you can tell on the camera or not, but I can totally see a difference in my lip color and everything, like they are so smooth and moist. I can't, oh my gosh, this is crazy. But here is the real trick. I wanna see if I could put on like lipstick easier, like if it'll go on smoother. So I guess let's see. Okay. So here's my lips with the lipstick and it definitely went on smoother than usual. They still feel great. I think they look fantastic and I would definitely give this one an A plus. Y'all need to try it. Alrighty, so for hack number two, we're gonna do our eyebrows. As you can see in the video up there, she's putting foundation on her eyebrows blotting it in, taking eyeshadow, splotting that on, and then taking a makeup wipe and going, whew, just wiping it off to make the shape. So I guess let's try it. I'm not as confident with this one, but oh well. All right, we're just gonna take a little bit of, I can't believe I'm doing this. Usually you wanna wipe off the foundation. Not on this. <laughs> so, just gonna take a beauty blender. Yes, I did get a new one. If you watched my last video, you would know what happened to it. So we're just gonna like coat our eyebrow, I guess like this. Hopefully that's working. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I feel like it's good. I look like a clown, but I'm going to dip into, I think, this shade I feel like would be the best and I'm just literally gonna splot that all over my eyebrows. Oh goodness. Okay, that was kind of a weird accent. We're just 
Guys, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know. I just can't see this working out very well, but I mean, this could be a game changer because I suck at doing eyebrows and eyeliner. So, but if this works, that would be great. Okay, I guess what I'm noticing right now is my eyebrows feel really thick. I don't necessarily like that part. Beautiful. Step three, take a makeup wipe and shape your eyebrows the way you want them. <sighs> I just went to the store today and I totally forgot to buy makeup wipes. So we're gonna use baby wipes. Like this video if you go to the store and you forget things too. I mean, if this is safe for your booty, this should be fine for our face. So we're just gonna go in and just start shaping. Okay, that works. Okay, I'm not mad. I feel like you have to make this kind of skinny. Like this is kind of hard. I hope I didn't make my eyebrows too dark. I mean, it's pretty much the color of my hair. This isn't, I don't know how this, I don't know how I feel. Hmm, interesting. Well, uh, they're definitely thicker than what they were before, which we like. I feel like this left side is going to be harder for me. Also, I think you've noticed that my eyebrows are kind of shaped differently and one's like thicker than the other. I don't know what my issue is. Okay, I guess we're gonna go with that. They don't look too bad. They don't look too bad. Alrighty, so the last step is to take our foundation and just literally clean the edges. So I guess we're gonna do that. I'm just gonna kind of blot some around. Okay, I'm sorry with all these accents today. I don't know what my problem is. So I guess we're just gonna, whoa. This actually might work. Are you guys seeing this? This is making eyebrows so much more fun to do. Wow. Ooh. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, so I just finished doing the brows. They look fantastic, but I'm gonna do the rest of my foundation and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished putting on my face makeup and these are the finished products for the eyebrows. I'm shook of how good they look. They look thick. They look like I literally just drew them in. And honestly, since they've kind of dried and settled in, they don't feel as like thick or sticky anymore. Honestly, I think this is a win. Like I give this an A plus. I might actually start doing this. Like how crazy. Oh, I can't wait to try the rest. Alrighty, so for our third makeup pack, I am going to be trying to use pink lipstick as blush. As you can see in the video up there, she is literally just taking it, plotting it on her cheek, and just blending it in, and it comes out as a super beautiful pink tone. I personally like a lot of blush because I feel like it adds a lot of life to your face, and I know actually quite a few people who <laughs> quite a few people who do this and I've just never tried it for myself so I guess let's see how well it works all right so I'm literally going to rub my finger how she did oh wow maybe that's a lot I don't know and we're just gonna just literally splot it on the cheek and I'm gonna I just, I don't want it to ruin my foundation, so I'm just gonna try to see if like a beauty blender would work. Oh, I don't think this is going too well. Mm, I mean, it's pretty, but it's not giving me my life I need. Oh, actually, it's not looking too bad. Not too bad. Let's just try to add a, a little bit more. I will say it kind of feels a little sticky and tacky, I would say. Um, 
I don't know about this one. I'm not sure how I feel. Okay, so I'm going to call that good here. Um, you can definitely see I have blush and it looks fairly natural. I'm actually like, definitely not hating it. If you forget your blush on vacation or something and you don't know what to do, there's no store to go to, this is a good trick. Do I like it better than normal blush? No, but um, it works. I mean, I'm gonna give it an A. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it an A minus because I just feel like it's messing with the foundation too much. I don't know. I was just like I was a little too much work for my liking. I guess with the blush, it's just a lot easier to put on. But again, it's a really good life hack if you forget your blush somewhere. So I'm gonna give it an A minus. Okay, so for hack number four. I'm probably the most excited about because we are going to be making freckles. I don't know if you notice on my face, but I do have freckles. They're all around here. They're just not as dark because it's literally only springtime and they really like to show their true colors in the summer. And also my foundation really like mutes the color, which kind of makes me sad because I feel like freckles are kind of a unique thing to have and I do like showing them off. So it'd be nice to have some natural freckles without having to draw them in because I just feel like they look a little fake and put on. So as you can see in the video, she is literally taking some setting spray and bronzer, but I'm just going to be using eyeshadow because it's basically the same thing and she mixes it up and she takes a brush and flings it on her face and they leave like this really natural freckle coverage and honestly I think this is gonna work so this will be really great if you have freckles or you don't have freckles and you, or if you just want them to show because it's just hard to show off your freckles when you have foundation on so I guess let's try it okay so I'm just gonna take my morphe setting spray totally recommend by the way I am literally just gonna spray like two squirts into there there's some liquid in there as you can see and then I am going to probably take the same color that I was using for my eyebrows. And oh my god, this is going to kill me to do this. I don't want to do it. I'm literally going to like... Oh, I don't like this. I hate destroying my makeup. It kills me. But I'm literally just going to take some of that and just scrape at it. And I'm going to put it into this lid. I can't really show you but it's what I'm doing. Well, maybe I can. Okay, we're just gonna dump it in. There we go. Now I'm just gonna mix it up with this and see. I'm making a witch's brew. Alrighty, so it's all made. I'm just gonna literally dip it into our little concoction. I really don't want this to get everywhere and we're just literally gonna like fling it. Is this working? I don't feel like this is working. Let's try this again. Oh no. Okay, now I'm, I'm flinging it in the wrong direction. Oh gosh. Okay, this is a little messy. Oh, I'm getting this everywhere. Ah. Okay, um, well, this is not going well at all. <laughs> I just messed up my work. Oh my gosh. It was like, I was doing it right. It's just so messy. Oh, I don't think I can fix this. I don't think I can fix this. There's no way. Oh, on my lip. How did she get it like so perfect? I don't understand. How? Okay, I gotta attempt to like tone this down just a little. It's a little too much for me. And I like freckles, but yikes. Like, this is crazy town. Maybe, like, if I just put a little bit of foundation on top, it would, like, fix the problem. You know what I mean? Oh, my gosh. I thought this was going to work so much better than what just 
happened. Oh goodness. Well, um, <laughs> here's the finished product. So, uh, my freckles, I mean, they're very spread out. Not really where I want them. There's like really none here, a little bit here, and then they're just like, <laughs> honestly, like, I'm gonna get this a C. They look natural, they just did not go where I wanted them. But I feel like with like a little bit more practice, this would work out better. And also I think I had my little concoction a little too thick. I think thinner the better. So I would try that. I'm definitely gonna work on this because I think this could be really great. I just, I don't know. I feel like you just need practice with this one, but I definitely think you should try it out. So next TikTok hack, I am going to be basically taking a spoon, covering my eye, and it's supposed to give me the perfect arch. Alrighty, so I am going to place my spoon, I would say, there? Because I need room, obviously, to like, put it, uh, put the eyeshadow on, so I'm just literally going to follow that line. I'm just taking normal brown eyeshadow and just going over the curves all right okay i mean that's an arch it kind of made me go a little too far this way as you could see but it did i mean it did it it worked okay so i just did both eyes with the spoon and as you can see on both sides, I just came a little too far, but I mean, it did give me a really good like eye lift. But if you were just looking for like the perfect smoothness, I think this is really great. But it's also kind of hard too, cause you can see here, there's like a little bit more room in here. Like I don't really have enough space for anything else. I don't know. It's just kind of hard to like make, like put the spoon exactly how you did on the other side. You know what I mean? Like. I guess I would do better just eyeballing it, but if not, the spoon could be for you, but it is not for me. Overall, I'm gonna give this hack a B minus. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so I just added some shimmer um, down below because this next hack, which I believe is number six, I'm gonna be doing an eyeliner hack. As you can see up in the video up there, um, she's taking scotch tape and taping her um where she wants her little wing to go and she's literally just filling it in and it's going to create this flawless perfect eyeliner arch i think i've told you guys hundreds of times i can't do eyeliner worth crap okay and honestly putting scotch tape on my lids i just don't know how this is gonna go like i feel like this is gonna take off my foundation i don't know but I see she's like, what, like you're supposed to put it right at the end of your like eyebrow. Oh, I got my hair in it now. And then we're gonna do another one. I feel like I got a little close to my eye. I feel like poking my eye. I'm like, ah. So, like, what? How in the world? I feel like I can just do a little. Maybe we're just gonna put it. Let's see. Mm. I just feel like that second piece is just not gonna do anything for me. Gave up on the second piece. I could not figure out. It just could not. I could not get it the shape that I would want it. So we're just gonna put the one piece on. Like I feel like that'll give me a nice little guideline. This is literally poking my eye. So I'm gonna use this NYX um, Epic waterproof eyeliner it's like the new thing so i'm gonna go in with that and i'm gonna start okay i'm warning you right now i'm gonna mess this up like 100 percent. there's no way i don't care if there's tape on my lid this oh see i already messed it up i already messed it up i can't do this oh what? come on ashley you got this. Oh no. <laughs> this is just funny. I mean, this is just funny. I, I literally am like, 
Ah, we're, there we go. We're just gonna fill her in. Oh my gosh. Why can I, I just need a stamp. I just need a stamp at this point. Oh my gosh. I, d I won't, I won't blame you if you unsubscribe after seeing this. I can't do this. At all. All right, guys, want to see the finished product? <laughs> oh no. Okay. I mean, it kept the line. I just couldn't keep my line up here. I gotta figure this out. Give me a second. Okay, guys, I watched that video like literally 10 more times. We're trying this again. I put the second piece on, okay? We're filling her in, okay? Oh no, okay. Whoop, we're just gonna do that. All right, the moment of truth. As you can see, I already messed up there, but we're gonna take this top one off first. Oh wow, okay, that didn't really work out well. And here's the bottom. I honestly think I did better with this one than I did with this one. Um, so even what the heck, I cannot even put on eyeliner when I have a guide. So I don't know if it's fair because I just suck, but I'm gonna give this a C minus. I think I can improve with it. Maybe it's just better to draw it on yourself and just do the one. Um, so I guess that's what I would suggest. But if y'all could do eyeliner, good for you. I am so happy for you. I just need to work on it a lot more. Also, I don't like how the tape literally takes off your foundation and that means you're gonna have to literally put it on again. And it didn't really do too much of the eyeshadow, but yeah, you can just see where the tape was, so you're gonna have to fix that, which is kind of a bummer. So again, it's just better if you're naturally good at eyeliner. I think this, um, these TikTok hacks are going very well. <laughs> okay, anyway, so for number, uh, seven, I guess, we are going to be doing the eyelashes. So basically, up there, um, she is putting on waterproof mascara, which of course I have, and she's taking a literal freaking blow dryer and going to her eyelashes like, huh? Like, I feel like my eye's gonna like pop out of my socket or something. I'm like literally blow my own eyeball out. But I mean, hey, if it makes a curlier lash, why not? Beauty hurts, baby. So to see if this actually makes your lashes curlier, I'm gonna use the same mascara for both eyes, but I'm only gonna blow dry one eyeball to see if it actually lifts them like how she says in the video that it should. I'm now adding the mascara to my eyelashes. Oh, you can't see my eyelashes as well with the eyeliner on. This is exactly why I don't use it. Takes away from your natural beauties of your eyelashes. That made no sense, but you know what I mean. Okay, so I just coated my butterfly wings and she says to put it on the cold setting and blow the crap out of your eyelashes. So I guess here we go. Oh, wrong one. Oh God. Oh my God, the eye. Why is she getting so close to her face? Holy crap! Ah. <laughs> I can't breathe. Ah. <laughs> my whole like right side of my face right now feels numb. I don't even know. Okay. Uh. Honestly, uh, I don't think it did anything worthwhile. I put it on full blast and kept it on for a good 45 seconds and I just don't think it did anything. I think it actually like dried out my eyeball. Like I feel like I'm gonna have to put in eye drops. Like, And also I don't know what my face was doing but that was an experience. <laughs> so I'm gonna rate that TikTok hack an F and if there was an F minus I would give it that because 
I feel like you're only hurting yourself and I mean you're hurting yourself for nothing. That was a waste of my time. Do not even try that. Alrighty, we are down to our very last hack. Coming in hot. Number eight. How to dye your hair using eyeshadow. Yes, eyeshadow. When I saw this one, I was a bit skeptical, but I was like, hmm. I mean, it'd be kind of cool because if you're someone like me and you have really long hair and you don't want to bleach it to dye it, this could work, you know? I'm just a little scared that uh, it's going to use a little too much eyeshadow to do this and could be a huge waste of my really expensive foundation. So, I mean, I don't know. Is it worth it? Well, I guess. Here we go. So in the video, she basically takes her foundation or concealer and she's gonna put it all in her hair. So I think I'm just gonna take a strip because I have bangs on this side and I'm not about to dye those. So I'm just gonna do one strip. This is gonna, oh wow. We're just literally gonna coat our hair with this. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. <laughs> okay, so now that we have our one stripper hair completely covered in a uh, foundation, we are gonna take our trusty hair blower again and turn it on. And basically we're just gonna kind of dry it a little bit. So after you have your little rock out section with your uh, hair dryer, like I think all of us do, um, we're gonna pick out our color and I think I'm gonna go with a blue. I would normally go with a pink, but in this palette, I don't have that. So we're gonna go for I think this bright blue and I'm just really gonna coat a brush like this and we're just gonna go in. It might be a little too dark, but I mean, I see some color. I just know I'm not ever going to use this blue because it's not too pigmented on the eyes. So maybe be good for the hair. Um, holy crap. That actually worked. I'm shocked. Actually, like, kind of cute. Like, it looks like I actually just dyed my hair. It's like, wow. That is crazy! I didn't think this was gonna work very well. I mean, you can literally just do strips and you don't even have to dye your hair to ruin it. That is crazy! Wow, I am so gonna start doing this. This is like totally great if you wanna like prank your parents because like my parents were like super strict and like, you cannot dye your hair and I always wanted to have like a blue strip like there. And they were always like, no, you're not. So it'd be kind of funny as like an April Fool's joke or something to like prank your strict parents by doing this hack and they were like gonna freak out. But then you're like, oh no, 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 I can wash it out. So there was a good idea for you, but wow, it works. I'm not gonna lie. I think this is my favorite one out of the whole group. I give this to A plus, 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 plus. Wow. So I guess overall, we can say that most of these TikTok hacks do actually work as they say. Like I said, my number one is definitely the dyeing your hair with eyeshadow and also the eyebrows. I just think those worked the best and I totally, totally 100% recommending trying those two. Oh, also, how could I forget the, the lips with the honey? totally try that I, that is gonna be like my nightly routine putting honey it's so really moist like the lipstick kind of dried out a little bit because of the blow dryer but other than that they are so smooth and moist so definitely try that one too but anyway if you guys enjoy and watching me try these uh crazy tiktok hacks please to make sure that you leave a big thumbs up and that you leave a comment below if you want to watch any more of these crazy videos or if you'd like a part two also please please subscribe it would mean the whole world to me 
because you guys are my darlings and I love you so much and I want to create more fun videos like these. But anyways, I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day and thank you so, so much again for watching and bye-bye. <laughs>